Good morning, grade 7. We are doing miscellaneous problems set 2. Question number 4. I will just read it for you. Diameter of a circle is 5.6 cm. Find its circumference. So, diameter is given and you have to find circumference. What is circumference of a circle? Circumference is denoted by C and circumference is nothing but pi D. Or it is 2 pi R. But 2 R is D. So, we can write pi D. So, this is nothing but 22 upon 7 into diameter is 5.6. Isn't it? 7 ones are 7, 8s are 56. But it is 5.6. So, it will be 0 0.8. So, this would be 22 into 0 0.8. So, which is equal to 2, 8 to the 16, 8 to the 16 plus 117. After one number, point is there. So, what would be the circumference? Circumference of circumference of this circle would be 17.6 centimeters. Okay, is this clear? Now, let us go for next question. See students, question number 5 from miscellaneous problems set 2. Question 5 is expand and question 6 is use a formula to multiply. Both we have done earlier. So, I am directly going to 7th question now. Alright. Let us go for 7th question. You can do this problem and then cross check. It is very easy. Do the calculations without fail. Now, see the 7th question. I just read it for you. Diameter of a wheel of a cart is 1.05 meters. So, diameter is given as 1.05 meters. Diameter of a wheel of a cart is 1.05 meters. How much distance will the cart cover in 1000 rotations? So, rotations given is 1000. Okay. Now, you should understand students meaning of rotations and the distance covered. There is a See, for example, this is a wheel, isn't it? Now, if I start from here, okay, so I'm making a mark, okay? Here I'm making a mark like this. Now, if this wheel starts from here and it will cover this much, see this mark. Again, it is going till over here. So, this much distance it has covered. So, we have started from here. Here to here is the distance covered when this completed one complete rotation. So, and what is this? This is nothing but circumference. So, distance covered in one rotation is equal to the circumference of the cart. So, we have 100,000 rotations. So, how much distance will be covered? One rotation is equal to one circumference. So, you multiply circumference by 1000 and then you will get the distance covered. Did you get the logic? See, this is a cart, no? If it starts from here, sir, here is the mark and from here it is going like this. And again coming back to the original position. So, this one, one, ro one rotation is completed. Okay. So, if it completes one rotation, distance covered is equal to the circumference. So, what you should remember? One rotation is equal to circumference. equal to circumference that is distance covered would be equal to the circumference okay so let us calculate first circumference it is pi d so that would be 22 upon 7 into 1.05 meters so this would be equal to 22 upon 7 into 1.05 now sir there are 1000 rotations so, first what we will do is distance covered, distance covered is equal to circumference into number of rotations. Alright, so circumference is what? 22 upon 7 into 1.05. This is circumference into number of rotations are how many? Rotations, I will write here rotations. Or it will be confused with radius. Rotations is what? 1000. Okay. Now it becomes easy for calculation. It is 22 by 7 into 
this point will be shifted after three numbers so it will be one zero five zero isn't it so this is the i have shifted the point by three numbers are you understanding everybody okay now let us see what the calculations are so we are going to get this will be seven ones are and seven ones are seven seven fives are isn't it thirty five so one fifty so it would be twenty two into one fifty ideally okay so twenty two into one fifty let us calculate so we are going to get fifteen twos are thirty one zero as it is fifteen twos are thirty plus three thirty three okay so thirty Three thousand three hundred meters, but we know one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters. So, see now, I'm doing it over here for your understanding. This is kilometer and this is meter. One kilometer is one thousand meter. We have how many? Three thousand three hundred and sorry, three thousand three hundred meter would be. How many kilometers? So cross multiply. Three three zero zero into one is equal to x into one thousand. So what would be x? Three three zero zero. You may pause the video and take it down. Upon this hundred will go in denominator. So you have one two three. So after three numbers, point would be there. So x would be three point three kilometers. Because after point end zeros doesn't have any value, so it can be three point three kilometers. Or you can stop here itself. It is equal to three thousand three hundred meter. This is also correct. If you want to go ahead and convert, this is also correct. This is in kilometer and this is in meters. I hope it is clear. Okay. So that's all from my side for today, students. Thank you.